Have you ever wondered about the technology and the design that goes into items like jackets, gloves and even race suits? Well, we have too. And today we're lucky enough to be in a Spitty factory in Verona, Italy. We're going to take a look behind the scenes and see what goes into the making of these world-class products. <laughs> The Speedy Company emerged back in 1977, making gloves for the biggest name in racing at the time, Kenny Roberts. Speedy went on to pioneer the Speed Kenny Glove, and more big names joined them, including Eddie Lawson, Franco Ancini, and Freddie Spencer. Simone Finn joined us from Speedy to tell us a bit more about the products. And so we came uh, more than 30 years after to the Carbo Truck Speedy Glove. These days, a modern speedy glove, like what Andrea Di Vizioso wears, is made up of over 170 parts. I'd ask Simone what glove he thought would be the most suitable for our type of conditions. This is called Carbo One, and, has, uh, and is the best compromise between, let's say, full comfort, full, uh, full uh, safety, sorry, for a very professional use on track, a good quality leather glove with knuckle protection, and uh, for, a, for, a, for, the, for the use every day. So double wrist as well. Double wrist is very important in all race gloves. Always remember to buy a double wrist closing glove if you want to go on track. This is really highly recommended. I've been buying motorcycle jackets and gloves for years and I've paid attention to the normal things like style and comfort and fit. But when you buy motorcycle equipment, this is something that could actually save your life. It's a really important thing. One of the things that we looked at in the Speedy Safety Lab was the different materials and the science that goes into constructing this equipment. It was really interesting to see that comfort equals safety because if you're comfortable, you tend to be less distracted. Over the years, the safety gains have been enormous, but it's not just gloves. In the safety lab, Simone was joined by senior designer Piero Zanetti, and they explained how they measure the effectiveness of Speedy protectors. So uh, this is the choice of Speedy. So a rigid uh, structure, honeycomb structure, and this is a choice of, of one of our competitors. All Speedy protectors are CE approved, meaning they pass strict tests. One of them where a five kilogram weight is dropped from a specified height and the impact is measured. So that means that the armor has, hasn't absorbed the energy. And the result is, uh, um, is 44 kilonewtons. As the morning progressed, we saw more of the same with the other armor types. I always thought I was a safe rider, but by this stage, I was feeling a bit uneasy about my 20-year-old jacket. And so we are now 13 kilonewton. So this is a level two protector. And level two must be lower than nine kilonewton. 5.6. So you remember the first unbranded protector was 44. Now we are at 5.6. The best should be zero, of course, but uh, there is no way to get zero. Maybe in the future. At the moment, uh, we are working on that. The miglior solution is quella collo tutto in pelle dove c'è anche la gobba. Using a, a leather suit with hamper, it's it improves the safety. It's not only aerodynamic, it's not only because riders want to be like, uh, like uh, MotoGP riders. It helps really because it's another surface protecting you from the impact between your uh, back and the, and the obstacle. So we will see the results uh, would be 2.5 kilonewton. <clears throat> and also you, you, you remember the first sound, bang, and now you don't see any. The abrasion tests were even more telling. Now I was feeling just a little bit silly in normal jeans. To see these results firsthand has really changed my perspective on the gear I use. And it also made me feel pretty confident in the guys at Spitty. They have that typical Italian passion about their work. The big decisions are really made when you try everything on. 
I hadn't sampled Speedy products before and I love the way they felt and fit. You can find a style for almost any type of riding. There are a range of jackets and gloves with different styling for the track or street. Or you can try the textile touring jackets made with Speedy's breathable but waterproof H2 out material. Also, the girls were really impressed. Both Kirsty and Emily had similar thoughts as me. The jackets felt really well fitted, especially around the shoulders and arms. Well there you have it. What a great look behind the scenes at the Speedy factory. There's a few things that really impressed me about the Speedy brand. They're a smaller, family oriented company, but they pack so much innovation and technology into their products. It was really cool to see the way things worked in the safety lab and what goes into the products that we wear and we trust our lives with them. The other thing that I really liked is the fit of the jackets. They feel really good on, they got a great cut and nice soft material. It's definitely something that I'll be looking at when I'm choosing my next jacket. Of course, it doesn't stop at jackets and gloves. There is a big range of XPD boots with different styles for track and street use. If you haven't checked out Speedy yet, look for your closest stockist at speedy.com.au.